Hello and welcome to today's video. So at this time we're going to be taking the first of two looks through my carded Return of the Jedi action figure collection. So I've got some of the British Palatoy ones and I've got quite a few of the Kenner carded action figures. So that's what we'll be looking at today. So sit back, relax and let's get to it. Right then, so we're going to make a star on looking through the first of the uh, Return of the Jedi figures. And the first one we've got to look at is, uh, this is a British one, so it's not got the Kenner logo on. This is a Palatoy one. It's got the Palatoy name on the back, and it's got the free Nyem Num figure from Return of the Jedi. So you had to cut out six, six names from the middle there and send it off and you could get a, uh, a free Niem Num in the post. I seem to remember I did get Niem Num and Admiral Akbar. definitely got Boba Fett back in the day. Now the good thing about um, these British ones is that the bubbles don't appear to have yellowed anything like as badly as the, uh, as the Kenner ones. There's a little bit of aging on this I would say but nothing too too serious. It is quite nice in the fact that it is uh, unpunched. And you know, I was never a massive fan of this figure, but um, you know, I, I like it. I think my favourite Lando of all is the uh, Lando General figure, which came out as a tri logo. Um, but still, nice figure all the same. So I've got a couple more in this sort of uh, range. So this uh, were this Chewbacca one here is the same. Um, so this one has been punched. Um, it is also a British one. It's got the Chewbacca bandolier offer on this one. Now this one says Collect All 65, whereas this one was a, oh, that was the same, yeah, that was Collect All 65 as well. Um, really nice, quite sharp bubble on this one. Tiny little bit of um, sticker residue from where there was a price sticker on it, all the way back in 1983. And while I'm going through these, I would entertain suggestions for which ones ought to go in uh, really nice acrylic cases. I mean, eventually, you know, if money was no object, I definitely would uh, acrylic the whole lot, but I can't do that. So I just want to do my best ones. So I have already done my carded uh, Star Wars and Empire figures and also my signed figures as well. So and I've got some really great suggestions about which ones to uh, to acrylic up. But on these Jedi ones, I don't really keep a track of the market because I never really intend to sell any. Um, so if there are any of these that you think feel are quite expensive and ought to be um, popped into a nice acrylic case, do leave a comment below because I'd like to know and I'll be guided by you a little way. Um, so Rebel Commando, once again, not my favourite figure, I have to say. Um, I always found he was a bit awkward looking. Um, I quite like the detailing, that's that's excellent. And I don't mind the card. Um, I guess just because it's Endor related, it makes me uh, cringe a little bit. This <laughs> There's a little uh, like hairline crease along the top there. Um, but this is one of those ones I don't think it's too uh, uh, too rare or anything like that. It's just uh, just a nice uh, nice general cheapy figure from what I know. Uh, Rebel Soldier now. So this is another British one, a Palatoy. It's interesting, it's got like, um, that bit's like been felt tipped out. So I'm not sure what was supposed to be there. Um, these have all got the same back. As again, the slightest sort of hinting of yellow in this one. There appears to be, I'll go right up close, appears to be a little bit of like plastic in there. And I think that may be tape where the gun was held in place, possibly. A bit difficult to tell. I've never really noticed, noticed that before on that particular figure. Nice one, nice sort of solid card. Here's a real uh, sort of iconic one. So when I first had it, it was on a nice 12 pack, but... Um, that's long gone when I was a kid, but this is nice in its own way. Nice original Luke Skywalker. This is another one with a, the, the pen mark I can see in the light. It says offer ends January the 1st, 1984. So that's the bit that they've wiped out, obviously because they had loads more 
bandolier straps to uh, give away. I never actually bought um, the bandolier strap. Um, it wasn't a piece that I never, never really, you know, sought after myself. And I didn't, I still haven't got one to this day, in actual fact. We used to get them all the time in the shop for, from kids, but um, I never bothered with one. Um, this is quite interesting. This is a walrus man, but he seems to have a much bigger bubble. It's sort of like a tri-logo bubble, but on a, on a walrus man card. So whether this was a later one or an early one, I honestly don't know. It's a bit of a weird one because it's got a 45, 45 back. Now, there's a little bit of wear on this one. It's almost like you could see sort of like mud. Now, none of these have been cleaned yet. So even with it just a little bit of like, almost like spit, you can see that's coming up there. So um, yeah, that's gonna need some proper attention. I need to very carefully uh, sort of see if I can take that that muck off the back there. Um, it's this probably literally harking back to when I first picked them up um, all those years ago. So uh, I started sort of buying the um, the carded Star Wars. Uh, I, I started putting a loose set together. Well, pretty much after they stopped being they stopped making them really in the shops, and then I uh, I started actively trying to get them all carded, I suppose in about 1988, 89. And I was just happy to get one of each figure more than anything. Um, and, um, you know, over the years, I had a couple of really good finds. Um, I bought a big load for about £300 off a dealer once. And I found a lot of the rare ones all in one hit in Plymouth, which I've spoken about before. A lot of the uh, the most rare ones for just 29p each, which was brilliant. Um, and that was, I don't know, I think it was about 89, 1988, 89. Um, this is a Kenner one now, so we're onto a few Kenner ones now. Um, this is my Gamorrean guard. Absolutely love this one. It's a great figure. It's such a shame it's, it's yellowed like so many of the Kenner ones have. Um, when I had the shop, I had a case of uh, 100 of these. Uh, sorry, 96. There was 96 in the case. And um, we we sent them all to the States. We did trades with an American dealer and uh, just sold them for more modern action figures which we could sell in the shop, you know. But yeah, we had a whole case in, in a nice, uh, it was literally, it was a Kenner case and it said Gamorrean Guard, 96 pieces, and it was full up with these. So that's that's from that collection. So it's a really nice, uh, nice minty, minty Gamorrean Guard. Another big one. One of my favourite figures actually from when I was a kid, and I still love him today, and that's the Power Droid. Absolutely fantastic figure that I really, really love it. Um, it is one of those ones I think I'd like to, if I was a focus collector, I think the Power Droid or the Death Squad Commander would probably be, one of those two would probably be the ones I would focus on. Um, and I'm not saying I may never focus, uh, become a focus collector, but um, there are people who do that and uh, they just collect the one figure. And I think it's absolutely awesome the, uh, the way that they do that. Uh, but this figure, has a lot of nostalgia for me playing it when I was a kid and when it first came out I just just loved it to death even holding it now is bringing back memories of when I played with it as a kid and that for me is what collecting is all about it doesn't matter if it's my Star Wars toys or if it's the books or if it's uh, my puzzles or my retro games that is what collecting is all about it's all about the memories and bringing back that a little bit of nostalgia and that figure oh, Boy, does that do it for me. <laughs> right then, so this is Zuckus and the Kenner one again. Always loved the Bounty Hunters, absolutely loved them. Um, and he was a good one as well. So you see there's just like dust on these, it's just incredible. Um, I do look forward to, um, to giving them all a really, really good clean. Um, taking some time to, to clean them and get them encapsulated. Um, but as I said, do, do let me know which ones you think I should be giving the treatment to, because I don't really know value-wise what, what the story is with a lot of these these days. Um, Han Solo in Bespin outfit then, so this is quite a nice uh, iconic figure. Once again, it's got some dust on it. Um, great figure. Han was fantastic in Empire. I think it's the best of the original trilogy for, for Han Solo. He sort of becomes the the star alongside Luke when he's doing all the training on Dagobah. Great shot on the back there. 
the C-3PO collector's case. I never did get around to getting one of those. I always wanted, there was a while when you could find them everywhere, sealed. They were just doing the rounds and they were about £65 when I used to see them in the toy fairs, but I never bought one then. And I do regret not getting a, uh, a C-3PO case. Uh, Wee Kui, um, not bad. I mean, I don't, I'm not a massive fan of the, uh, the aliens that were on the sail barge, but I don't mind them. Um, you know, it is what it is. Those figures, I think, are cheap for a reason. That's because they're not really that iconic. Um, I mean, what was his fate? Didn't he end up in the mouth of the Rancor? That's one of the one of the Rancor's early meals, wasn't it? <laughs> Pretty nice design figure, though, so I can't, can't complain too much. Um, another one of my absolute favourites. I remember picking this one up over the tri logo version i had the choice of which one shall i have we had them both in the in the shop at the time and i picked this one up because at the time it was a nice white clear bubble rather but now on reflection i wish i wish so much that i picked up the tri logo version rather than this one this is nice don't get me wrong and once again i have a bit of a soft spot for the death star droid um because it was around the time when I was playing with my figures the most, I guess. So, um, you know, I do really, really like the figure, but I do have that little pang of regret that I didn't pick up the Tri-Logo version um, when I had the chance, really. I don't know what the difference is between the two, but once again, pop a comment in and let me know what is the difference in price between a, um, the Kenner Death Star Droid and the Tri-Logo one. I would really like to know. So this is the Emperor's Royal Guard, another figure I absolutely loved to death as a kid, and I had definitely had more than one of them. Um, I know they didn't really do a lot in the movies, did they? A lot in the that original trilogy, but certainly a good figure all, all the same, and I really like this particular version, which is uh, unpunched as well. Yeah, great, great stuff, this one. Um, I have seen people with whole armies of... Uh, Emperor's Royal Guards, and uh, I do believe there's a, a rare version with a different coloured cape or something like that. Not 100% sure, it might be what they call a, a little lady, but a, a little little lady, I think that's how they call them. Um, I've got a couple of carded, which I believe are little ladies later on, which we'll have a look at in just a sec. Um, and I'm hoping that I'm going to get some uh, advice from uh, the Blacktail Ewoks, uh, the, a fellow YouTuber who uh, helped me out when I first dug these out. You know, over a year ago now. So this is cheap and cheerful, and this is one definitely I think I'll upgrade because it's just, it's Logray. It's one of the Ewoks, and it's one of the ones that I believe is really common. Um, I don't think it's expensive like that. Um, there's a bit of tape residue on the side there. I mean, to be honest, I could put this probably amongst the cheapest figures out there, and it's definitely one that um, needs uh, needs an upgrade in my collection because I'm not that much of a fan of it. So uh, we'll pop him over there. This is nice, a nice uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi carded Kenner figure. This one's really nice and it's unpunched again. Although a lot of these are unpunched. I mean, I remember at the toy fairs, dealers having cases and cases of these, uh, along with the Palatoy ones, these Jedi ones were around, believe me. Um, uh, Jim Stevenson who sadly passed away recently. He would have an almost endless supply of Jedi uh, Star Wars figures, uh, generally Palatoy ones rather than Kenner. And that's because he had a contact who used to work in the factory and um, he was basically unloading his uh, his garage of carded figures. So he, he was never really sure. But that's a really nice uh, ben, ben Kenobi figure. I do very much like that one. Another one from the old sail barge is Nikto. And this is another one which I, now I've got it in the light here. I can see sort of the level of dust on it is is not very nice, you know, but once again, I feel the same way uh, with Nikto as I do with Klaatu, really. I mean, all, all those sort of sail droid, uh, barge, um, sail barge sort of aliens are not that high up on my wants list. There was no real nostalgia. I picked them up because, well, they're part of the collection, you know, and you have to have them, really. But I wasn't, I wouldn't say I was a massive, massive fan of them, um, but they are what they are. I suppose you got to get them and... Uh, I wouldn't go out of my way to collect them. Now these last couple that we're going to look at are a bit of a, um, they're a, a bit of a mystery to me. So this one is the Besbin security guard. Now there's something about the feel of this card which doesn't feel quite right. As you notice, the bubble is really big for starters, a bit like that walrus man earlier. And I think this is basically, I think this may just be a tri-logo bubble 
on a earlier Return of the Jedi card. So that is my suspicion, and the same with the uh, Walrus Man. Um, I did have a few more of these, um, and I did trade them on um, a couple of years ago with a, a fellow collector, uh, as I needed uh, some money to put in towards another one of my collections, which uh, I'm glad I did, but um, I had a few more, and he was specifically after these particular ones. Um, amongst that little lot was like, um, I seem to remember there's a biker scout and a snaggle tooth and a couple of others I seem to remember that uh, he had. Um, so that's that one. So, so maybe someone could explain about that one and the walrus man. Are these just trilogue bubbles on earlier Return of the Jedi cards? Now this next one, I seem to remember when I first discovered it in my collection, um, the Black Tower Ewoks, he commented that this was a, a little lady. Little, little lady, I think that's how you pronounce it, because you see on the back here, it's got like a punch hole, and that stopped the, stopped the bubble yellowing for, for sure. But I can't see any sort of variation apart from, apart from that on it. Um, there's a bit of like yellowing tape inside there to keep his gun in place. But I would really like to know, is this just a carded variant or is the figure a variant that people might be after. Um, the back is matte. It's got a matte finish to the back rather than it being glossy. And as I said, it's got a very small, small hole in, in there. So like it's been punched somehow. Um, so that is a bit of a mystery that I would like solved. And I would certainly like um, collector's input on those two, um, what I believe, tri-logo bubbles on Jedi cards because I don't really know what's going on there. All right. But anyway, there we go. So that's the... Uh, the first look through uh, my Return of the Jedi figures. Um, I've got about the same amount again to do in our in a follow-up video quite soon, and be in a, in a week or so's time, maybe a couple of weeks. Um, and then I've got perhaps even more than this again on uh, in tri logos to go through. So still got quite a few quite a few more bits for Star Wars to go through. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do please hit that subscribe button if you've not already subscribed to the channel. Do please give it a like and I will look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye.